<laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you in charge. You take care of the car. You're a responsible bull. When I get back, if the car's okay, I'll give you another cookie. If the car's gone, I'll give you another cookie anyway. Because I love you. That's all there is to it. He'll need a booster shot in about a week. He didn't seem to mind it. Oh, they hardly feel it. But he will need the booster shot in about a week. Say, how old is he? Kind of hard to say. You say I just picked him up at the pound. Uh -huh. His time was up, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. I say he's pretty full grown. Kind of cute, isn't he? Hmm. He'll be all right. OK, Doc. Thanks for staying open. Got these peculiar hours yet. Ah, no sweat. My wife doesn't like music. She watches murder mysteries, so whenever the concert's on, I work late. Right. Uh, there's not going to be any after effects, is there? Oh, no, nothing. OK. Uh, I haven't named this guy yet. You don't have any ideas? There's a name I've always heard, and I've never seen a dog that had it. Fido. Fido? Yeah, Fido, the Romans used to say. It's as old as that. Uh, it means, uh, I am faithful. Yeah. Well, roughly. Fido. You want to get this for me, Doc? Oh, mm -hmm. It shouldn't be long. You stay put now, or I'll revoke your driving privileges. I'm gonna leave this coat in the car. Or if somebody tries to lift it, you look the other way. Lieutenant, I have been dean of this academy for over 20 years. And we have never had a situation like this. Believe me, sir, I know you've done your best. If a student fails, we consider it our failure, not his. To be honest with you, I was afraid of something like this. We've had a lot of problems with him at home. Then you do understand we consider it best that you withdraw him? Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, Lieutenant. He just sits around the house and drools. Never moves. We love him, but a dog should do something, even if he just barks now and then. Yes. Oh, Lieutenant, it's for you. Yeah, Colombo. Where? I'll be right over. Um, uh, I gotta go to work. My wife and kids, they're visiting my mother-in-law up in Fresno. You don't suppose you could keep him for another week? I'm sorry, he demoralizes the other students. I'm not going away for long. I'm just going to talk to this guy. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Listen, do me a favor, would you? Yeah. Uh, would you mind keeping a dog around for a while? I'll tell you, he's no trouble. He just don't like to be alone. He just wants to be around a human person. He don't care who it is. OK. You know, it could be anybody. So just, uh, Unstrap him here, and he'll be fine. I'm going to leave you, but you're going to talk with this gentleman. Hey, all right? He could be all right? Yeah, he's going to be fine. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Beat it. Sorry, he's mine. He enjoys garbage. I don't know why. What's his name? I don't know. He didn't like any of the ones I gave him, so call him anything. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Oh, oh. 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 Okay, fella. Okay, fella. Right. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Hmm? Nah, a dog like that wouldn't get hurt much in there. 
get hurt. What's the matter with you, mashed up in that thing? Uh, fella, take it easy. Let me show you something. Watch. It's a safety device. Anything hits that when she's grinding up, off she goes. It turns itself off? Sure. You just load it up, hit the switch. Uh, Steven Spellberg? Uh, yes, sir. But I prefer Steve. Steve. Oh, Steve. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Colombo. I'm from the uh, LAPD. You investigating Professor Nicholson's murder? That's right, sir. That's what I'm doing. He doesn't look like a police dog. Well, he isn't. He's a policeman's dog. Believe me, there's a big difference. You gonna question me? Oh, no, not really. I'm just gonna ask you one question. Did you go to the movies last night with the fellow from the motor pool? Yeah. What's his name? What, the dog? Well, he doesn't have a name. My wife and I, we could never agree on one. We just say, hey, your dog, a whistle. Doesn't make any difference. He don't come when you call him anyway. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Would you and the robot take care of my dog? I got a lot of things to do, and the dog doesn't like to be alone. Sure. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'll see you later now. What's this world coming to? It's the second time in two days I've been treated like a kid. When was the other time? Uh, when Dr. Cahill asked me to go to the movies yesterday. He's never done that before. Is that a fact? Does that mean something, Lieutenant? Oh, I don't know, Steve, but when people do something for the first time, detectives always get curious. Oh, okay. Uh, Steve, look, I don't want to impose on you, but, uh, if you can make that robot do all those things, you think you could housebreak my dog? Well, Lieutenant, zoology isn't my field, but I'll give it a crack. Come on, boy. Come on, come over here. Double M7, walk the dog. Just trying to find my watch here, man. Right? Oh, yeah, I gotta run along. I gotta get my dog to the vet. Oh, is he uh, sick? No, sir, he's in love, or he was in love, with the cocker spaniel next door. But the family moved away, and now the dog, he won't eat, he won't sleep, he just lays around, and I can't look at him. Well, Lieutenant, I'd never owned a pet, so I wouldn't know how to advise you. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, I don't suppose you have a picture of a cocker spaniel around, do you? A picture? You know, I mean, maybe I could tack up some kind of a picture. You know, something he could look at. Kind of like a pinup. No, really. You'd... No. No, that's a terrible idea. I mean, a dog is dumb, but he won't fall for that. I mean, the dog would know it wasn't her. <laughs> Forget I mentioned it. Yeah, I will, Lieutenant. <laughs> Not too fast, you'll knock Captain it out of Siegel, the phone. Internal Affairs. Internal Affairs? Well, what's wrong? Tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, on the firing range, where I pull your badge. Just one more. 